Hey everybody, it's XS Master X. Welcome back to another episode of Choro Q. Last episode, I finally actually did something. I won the Grand Prix. And I was also completely unsure as to what to do at that point. And now I think I have a few ideas after poking around a little bit. So, uh, first of all, um, So I used to have the, on my old computer a whole bunch of sticky notes that were Choro Q comments that people left on my Choro Q videos and now I have a new computer so I it's too much trouble to check all those old comments but I did make I did actually find out that I made some new sticky notes at some point um And that did have some rather, some of it was stuff which I already had figured out by now, or had already applied and then remembered, and done within the game. But there's also something else, uh, which I found rather interesting. By the way, I have to comment that the comment section of this, of this series is a better walkthrough to the game than the actual series itself. Like, it's kind of comical in hindsight. How I branded this as a walkthrough, and yet I spent this entire Let's Play not having any idea what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> like, it's not really a walkthrough, it's more of a Game Grump style. Let's watch this guy suck at a video game. Oh hey, it's Anya's house, let's go... <laughs> let's, let's go hit on her. Miss Anya is resting for today. Please come during the day. Okay. That that's fair honestly. Like I wasn't I wouldn't really expect people to be awake during the nighttime. So here I am I am at the church at night. And I'm going to do this. I might have done it in the past, but I'm going to do it more. Because I think that I've kind of forgotten that Barrett existed. And that he's currently in the hospital and not able to do anything. Unless he got out and I just forgot. Let me check, take a look. Okay, so yeah, yeah, okay. So this is stuff that's already, that happened a long time ago. Alright, I don't think there's anything I need to... So, I reread a comment uh, from the very useful Luna Hydrigan about how... First of all, she said that in order to progress the story, I had to win the Grand Prix one or two times. So... That kind of confirms what I thought, that I'd have to race in it again before I, stuff really starts happening. But also, Barret, so there's something about beating Barret at something, which unlocks like something else, so... I'm gonna see if I can try and... Uh, I have this theory now that maybe I can't progress with his plot because he's still in the hospital so I need to get him out of the hospital so that I can actually because I think beating him un unlocks the lab maybe uh, that's the problem with this game is it's so obscure that there's no real there's not a lot of information about it and what there is isn't set in stone nobody really like fully like, gets how this game works. It's like, it actually has a mind of its own, it just manifests randomly. I also, I just realized that I spent 99 cents on this game at GameStop, so if I monetize my videos, I could probably make 
back several dividends what I invested into this. That said, that's not counting the fact that I had to buy a new PlayStation 2, which was $30. And I'm not monetizing the views anyway, it's just a fun thought experiment. So you know how this goes, I just enter the church again and again until it says something will happen. Or I just give up. Uh. Excuse me? Uh, what was that? That, oh, I guess that was just a glitch. That kind of freaked, that kind of creeped me out, honestly. He was just, it's just Yarg just standing there staring into your soul. Like, I feel like this is about to go, like, Sonic.exe on me. I think I made jokes about creepypastas before, like, with the... Was the time that the game, like, had that random alien thing happen. I think I made a joke about it, like, being been drowned. And, like, how blood comes out of the screen and all that stuff. I don't remember what I said, man. I was a younger man. In fact, I probably wasn't illegally an adult yet. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem with starting a let's play whenever you're like 13 and now I'm 21 and oh my goodness <laughs> So if it took me 60 parts to win the first Grand Prix This this let's play is gonna be like 500 parts long at this at this current pace Although I do plan on picking up the pace by actually being good and also uploading more frequently. You see, whenever it like doesn't do anything enough times, I'm wondering if it's not supposed to say anything and if I'm like actually wasting my time here. Or maybe it's just like a 1% chance. It's like in Pokemon, whenever you're searching a new area, and you're like, Oh, I need to keep looking around to find a super rare Pokemon, but then you don't find it after like 10 minutes, so you're wondering if it actually is there at all. Or if you haven't already caught everything on the route. Uh -huh. And this is when I normally check a guide, but as I have established, there's not really a guide to this game. There's Luna Hydreigon's walkthrough. But there's no, like, text guide or... There is a wiki. Not for this game specifically, but for the whole franchise. But, like, I don't think I'd be able to find out the specific mechanics of how Char Yarg's church works. I don't know, maybe I would. Breaks in Minecraft. Minecraft. <sighs> this is a this is a really thrilling way to start off the uh, segment or the session. Come on, just make Barrett feel better again. In real life, you only have to ask once, or you ask a hundred times and nothing happens. But it's specifically because it's not supposed to happen, not just because the game's RNG is screwing you over. Alright, I'm just going to pretend that that did something. And that I didn't just waste five minutes of my life going to a church in a video game. And praying that a fictional character in the video game would feel better. Which might not, or might not, probably didn't actually affect anything that's happening in the video game. Uh, but 
I'm just gonna go visit him in the hospital again. I know I did that way back in the day, but I just I'm just curious to see if anything has changed since then in the game since I have done some stuff. As, anyways, I do appreciate that some people still watch this, uh, still watch this series. Thank you for that. Um, as I've, as I have repeatedly mentioned, I killed off any momentum that this channel had after the summer of 2017 by going on an extended hiatus. My Toro Q videos used to get like about, a, and maybe it'll eventually catch up, but even like shortly after they are released, they would get these counts well into the devil digits and possibly in the hundreds. And now they still are like getting more than Undertale, but Undertale also very st stays very firmly in the single digits. That's the, that's the ironic thing about my channel, is that, um, my Let's Plays of more popular games don't get watched at all, and my Let's Plays of extremely obscure stuff get like hundreds of, and thousands of views. Good evening. How do you do? This is Murdica Hospital. Well, well. Oh. All right. I I that definitely accomplished something, right? And I'm just going to poke around a little bit and see if I can like discover anything. I'm going to try going to Barrett's house. He might have already gotten better and I just didn't notice. That honestly would not even surprise me at this point. But I think Barrett lives in Pocky anyway. Yeah. Okay, so back's over there. Yeah, if it seems like I have no idea what I'm doing, it's because I don't. Let's see here, Barrett's house, it's by bo the body shop, number three. Yeah, I've been there before, I should remember this. So that was illuminating. Wait, wasn't there a thing I was supposed to do? Was or, no, I, I probably already did that. Yeah, this is the worst part: is trying to figure out what I did when I didn't already do. Yeah. Okay. We should probably just get back to racing. Um, or I could go back to praying that Barrett will get better. So, so I already did that. Cruising down the street. Here, let me try visiting Norahike, see what that guy has to say. 
that old so-and-so